this is a form of domestic terrorism. That's all that it is. Four envelopes shut down the elections offices in Spokane, King, Pierce, and Skagit counties today, each containing a mysterious white powder. Police confirming the powder found in Spokane tested positive for traces of fentanyl. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor. State and federal officials are now joining the investigation to figure out who's responsible for this attack on democracy. It is important to know there's no serious risk of injury by just touching fentanyl. Our Allison Martinez is outside of the elections office in Spokane tonight. And Allison, what can you tell us about the scene there this morning. This morning, there was a significant police fire and hazmat response here at the Spokane County Elections Office. The entire office had evacuated as soon as they discovered a white powdery substance, which we now know had traces of fentanyl in it. Today, we spoke with county, state, and federal officials who are all weighing in on this threat to democracy. And we are thankful that this uh, was not um, a situation that turned dangerous. A busy day for the Spokane County Elections Office was cut short when an employee opened an envelope containing a white powdery substance and a note. They brought it to me. Uh, we notified the proper authorities. The building was evacuated. Hazmat police and fire officials all responded. According to the Spokane Police Department, the substance tested positive for fentanyl. The employee uh, has not shown any symptoms of any issues or problems. Uh, however, we have closed the office for the day. Elections across Washington have been temporarily delayed as multiple envelopes containing similar contents have been discovered. Secretary of State Steve Hobbs says this was the goal of the election deniers and extremists who he says are likely behind this. This is a form of domestic terrorism. That's all that it is. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, what they're doing is putting innocent people at risk and disrupting our elections, but it's not going to stop it from happening. Secretary Hobbs says this threat is a reminder of the importance of protecting our election workers, especially with the presidential election on the horizon. Our role here is to make sure that democracy happens and we will be back processing ballots, envelope signatures and counting ballots again tomorrow morning. You can expect the next round of election results tomorrow at 5 p.m. For more election updates and information on this story, you can visit our website, kxly.com. Reporting in Spokane, Allison Martinez, 4 News Now.